Chart board is one of our older boards that's still around in the district. It does work a little differently from our newer boards that are being pushed out as you order them. So pay close attention to how these work and behave. So with this board here to power it on, there's a power indicator right here. Right now it shows that the red light, so that means it's off. Click the power button to turn it on, it'll turn blue. Now, by me powering on this board, I'm just turning on the display. You do have to go to the back of these boards. They have what's called a PC nook. It's a little nook. If you don't look closely, you will miss it. So we're gonna go to the back of the board so that I can identify it for you. This is what we call our nook. On the older boards they have, this is a great Windows PC, but you will miss it if you're not looking. So you're gonna need to connect this and I'll show you how to connect that in just one second. So here on this PC, you should definitely have the power cord. It won't work without the power cord. You see the school has done, they have it all Velcroed and secured so that teachers can't lose it during the summer. So you have that there, but you need a USB for your touch. And I'll show you what it looks on, like on the other end, but this is how it looks on one end. This is the USB you will need for touch. You will need an HDMI card. Here's the HDMI, put it in the correct slot. And then the last one is the power card that came with this PC, the Nook. So we're gonna connect all of these cards to the proper place. Now that they're connected to the PC, we're gonna connect it to the board so that it actually works. So right here, you have your HDMI and the other end of the USB touch. So I'm gonna plug my HDMI to whichever one you want, you have to remember, I'm gonna do HDMI 2. I can get it in, there it goes, HDMI 2. And then the last piece is to plug your USB for your touch. So underneath this panel right here, I have USB, the touch panel. Just plug it in right here. Okay, so now that you're signed in, you use your keyboard and mouse, you see it looks just like your desktop PC. You're able to use, display whatever information. You wanna pull up your Google Classroom, your Google Drive, whatever it is, your Nearpods. You can now teach from your board. Now you're ready to end the day, shut it down for today because we don't want you to leave the display on or your PC on. Make sure you're turning those off to preserve our technology. So remember, right here, this turns off the board display only. If I turn this button off, it's only turning off the board. My PC is still on. We want you guys to also shut down the PC. Now that you're logged into Windows, you can use this Windows icon. Click that. You can go find your name at the bottom. Click the power off button. And you can shut down the PC. That way you don't have to go back behind the board. But every morning, you're going to have to go behind the board to actually turn on the nook. So make sure you have it in a place that you can reach to turn it on and off.